What are you doing? I'm exercising. Don't you have some work to do? I am working. I'm working and exercising. What work are you doing? I'm thinking. About what? About ideas for Mrs. Beatty's vacation. And what are you thinking? Beach vacation! <laughs> I have to finish this. Can you go exercise somewhere else? No problem. <laughs> Doing? I'm getting in shape. Why are you doing that here? Why don't you go to a gym? Or the park? Or outside? Or home? I don't have time to go to the gym. I can't work when you do that. Can you go over there? No problem. Bob, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm working. Then why are you running? To get in shape. Running burns a lot of calories. Exercise later. Work now, please. Yes, sir. I'm meeting a client at the cafe for lunch, Marie. Okay. So, what do you do to stay in shape? I generally go running in the morning. I do aerobics two nights a week. I always play tennis or golf on the weekends. And I usually go bike riding every Sunday if the weather is good. You don't lift weights? No. Oh, you have to lift weights to really stay in shape. I don't like to go to a gym. You don't have to go to a gym to lift weights. You can lift weights anywhere, like this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or even this. Ah. Maybe not that. Thanks for the suggestions. Hey, why don't we go running together sometime? Okay, where do you run? To the park. And back. Oh. Where do you run? To the park. And then to the market. Then to Symphony Hall. Then to Harper Street. <laughs> then to the library. <laughs> then to the theater. And then back. Oh. So, do you want to go running after work today? Gotta meet a friend for dinner. <laughs> Some other time then. Yeah, sure. Hey. Can you answer the phones for a while? I have to go to the post office, and you're the only one here. No problem. That is so cute. Thank you. I love that color. Bob, what do you think of our new clothes for the party tomorrow? There's a party tomorrow? It's Mr. Evans' birthday, remember? All oh, right. Am I going? <laughs> yes, you are. OK. So tell us what you think of our new clothes. All those clothes are for one party? No. We have to decide what to wear. What do you think of these blouses? They're very flattering. Which one do you like more? What do you mean? Which one do you prefer? I like them both the same. No, you don't. You're just saying that. You need to have an opinion. You have to choose. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Bob, please help us decide what to wear. Okay. 
Which skirt do you like? The red one. Great. That's not so hard, is it? Which shoes look better? Those. <laughs> Which sweater do you prefer? I like the purple one. Bob, you like Marie's clothes more than mine. No, I don't. That's not true. Then which dress do you prefer? That one. This is Marie's dress, too. What's wrong with my clothes? Nothing. Nothing. I, I like your clothes. I like Marie's clothes. I like everything. I like all dresses and all sweaters and all skirts and all shoes. Ugh. Who asked you anyway? You did. So, what are you going to wear to the party tomorrow night? A t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> a t-shirt and jeans? No way. You have to wear something nicer. I don't have anything nicer. You do now. All that's for me? What do you think of these? Do you have anything looser? Yep. Too wild for me. Anything else? Here you go. I don't know. Those look pretty warm. Something cooler would be good. Why don't we look at shirts? <laughs> Not bad. But it's pretty conservative, isn't it? I love this one. That doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Try this. That looks a little cheap. Do you have anything more expensive? It. I'm taking it all back to the store. But what am I wearing tomorrow? Just wear a t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Rashid. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. How was your vacation? It was wonderful. I'm so happy to hear that. Was your flight okay? No, pretty bad, actually. It was so bumpy. It was very scary. Well, that's too bad. Did you have nice weather after you arrived? No. The weather was terrible, very rainy. I actually never saw the sun. That's awful. So what did you do? I stayed inside the hotel. Was the hotel room nice? The room was fine, but it was right next to the cafe, and the music was very loud. I didn't sleep much. I'll bet the food was great. No, it was too salty for me, and the waiters were very unfriendly. Did you go shopping at all? A little bit, until someone stole my wallet. <laughs> After that, I stayed in the hotel and read a book. Was the flight home okay? Actually, they canceled my flight. I had to stay for two more days. But, Mr. Rashid, you said that your vacation was wonderful. Ah, yes, I did, and it was wonderful. I met a very nice person, a woman, actually. Her name is Basmar. She's from Lebanon, just like me, but she lives here. I'm seeing her tonight, so yes, it was a wonderful vacation. <laughs> That's great, Mr. Rashid. <laughs> yes. Mr. Rashid, welcome back. Come tell me about your vacation. What a terrible vacation Mr. Rashid had. Oh. You know, on my vacation last year, someone stole my car. 
That was a horrible vacation. I went on a cruise, and there was an outbreak of illness. I was in my room for a week. That was a really bad vacation. I went to Disney World, and someone stole my map. That's your worst vacation? It took ten minutes to get another map. All right. What was your favorite vacation? I spent two weeks in the Caribbean last year, diving, snorkeling, and swimming with dolphins. It was amazing. I went to China a few years ago. It was incredible. The people there were so friendly, and everyone wanted to practice their English with me. I went to the beach and ate shrimp. <laughs> That's your best vacation? I really like shrimp. Uh, you need to go on more exciting vacations. I don't like exciting vacations. In fact, I don't like to travel very much. Then why do you work in a travel agency? It's across the street from my apartment, so I don't have to travel far to go to work. <laughs>